there. Right, this is for you guys in year 11 who are looking at your post-16 choices. Basically, these are my top tips to help you. We know that it's application season. We know that for many sixth forms and some colleges, their deadline for applications is the end of December. Um, of course, every sixth form college has individual deadlines, but we know that those deadlines are looming. Now, some of you might be sitting there and you're all sorted and you know what you're doing. Others of you might be feeling a little bit stuck. Well, these are my top tips to help you figure out what it is that you need to do. So, top tip number one. If you haven't got any applications out there already, get your applications done and sorted. Now, if you're not sure what you want to apply for yet, just apply for a range of different courses and subjects, colleges, sixth forms that you think might interest you. You can apply to more than one place, but you can get those applications out there and it does mean that you've got your options in place for what it is that you might do. The big bit is that you can actually change your options later. So if you've applied for a sixth form, for example, most sixth forms will let you change things like your A-level choices later if you want to. Same with colleges. If you've applied for a college and you're not sure about that particular course, you can change your options later. But if you've missed the deadline, for example, for a sixth form, you might not be able to get an application in and be considered. So put your hat in the ring and actually go and get some applications out there and get them done by the deadlines that we're working to. Next top tip is do your research. Go and check out what's out there and sort of see where your choices and options can leave you. If you check out the CSK Hub, there is loads of information there to help you with your next steps and your research. Search, so go and check that out. Also, get yourself an appointment with your independent careers guidance advisor at your school or college. Now, depending on your school or college, it might be an independent advisor who is employed by your school, who's qualified to level six, um, and ideally a member of the CDI and a registered career development professional or an external advisor like myself. So I'm employed by CXK and I go to loads of schools and colleges all over Kent and Medway supporting young people, um, helping them figure out your cho their choices. So get your application applications out there but also book that appointment with your qualified careers advisor so they can help you weigh stuff up um, depending on your school or college it will affect what availability that you've got in terms of access to that careers advisor if you haven't got access to the careers advisor or there's a long waiting list go and check out the national careers service young people's helpline if you so you can go and get some help from them and where they can sort of steer you through some of your ideas and your options so that number is there and available to help you just check out the national careers website it's the same website that you use to research your career ideas if you're looking at different job profiles and want to know what you need to get into them. The other bit, of course, next top tip I've got for you is go and do some open days or some visits. So if you've missed any of the open days at the schools or colleges or anything that you're looking at, you can often arrange a one-to-one -one visit where you can go and check things out and explore. Just contact them um, and you should be able to set that up as long as it doesn't clash with any other commitments that you've got at school or college. So make sure you get that done. It's a really good opportunity to go and find out what's out there and what you can do if you're not sure what questions to ask when you go and visit go and check out our open days questions uh, top tips poster uh, where it's got all of the top tips that can help you we've also got our year 11 um, post 16 guide for applications part one and part two go and check that out as well because that will help you so these are my main top tips there get those applications out there go and talk to your qualified careers advisor so you can get some help and get yourself booked in for that and go for some open days and visits to go and find out what things are actually like when you visit. Now, if you're looking at apprenticeships, which sort of fall outside of the main post-16 sort of applications for schools and colleges, it's about getting some work experience, going to test out exactly what it is that you want to do. So if you've got an idea of what you think you want to pursue after year 11 as an apprenticeship, go and get yourself some work experience. Check out our CSK work experience guide to help you to set that up and organize some work experience to test out what it is that you want to do. Many work experience opportunities can lead on to actually generating apprenticeship options so it's worth you doing it could be the work experience that you go for will actually lead to that employer offering you an apprenticeship or possibly a traineeship the other thing that you need to do if you're looking for the apprenticeships and the traineeships is make sure you register on the main government websites the main one for the apprenticeship website from the government and the find a traineeship website as well um, also check out our apprenticeship guide to help you everything you need to do to find an apprenticeship so get out there make the most of your opportunities please don't leave it too late and most of all don't panic and if you get stuck please make sure that you ask for help either from your independent career advisor at your school or college your teachers parents or carers you're not alone with what you're doing there's plenty of people out there to help you so i wish you the best of luck and i wish you the best of luck for your next steps and the future okay stay safe and have fun all the best <laughs>